man Ain't no lot to see Not those plans I made for myself I got nobody else Welcome to everyone joining us to experience stories of resilience, hope, perseverance, and joy. Move over to a sport chair, uh, basketball wheelchair. Category of best video are. We love you guys. Shows on the air. Good to have you along today. Sully here, Costa there. Hello. Great to see you. Have a bittersweet day here in San Diego. You like that? Day trade or trio? I beg your pardon, Mark. Quad though. <laughs> Missed two. Love the quad. So, can we just take a second and just uh, congratulate the. Uh, the <laughs> Are you, are, you, are you a little weepy because of the Aztecs? Oh. The San Diego State Aztecs, oh, of course, played so, in the so NCAA fresh. championships. Yeah. So, so fresh. Yeah. <laughs> the problem was, is, uh, I think we had the best defense in, uh, of course, you watch us across the country, yeah. we broadcast from San Diego. This was one of the biggest sporting events that's happened to the city. Massive. I mean, it's, it was as big as any time we were in the World Series with the Padres. Absolutely. The one time we were in the Super Bowl. Yeah. Uh, for about five minutes with the Chargers. But the problem <laughs> was was we had a great defense, and we had a shooting percentage roughly that looked like Mike Costa <laughs> playing in the Kalina Men's League uh, down in San So <laughs> I'm not a basketball expert, but you cannot go 10 minutes without making a basket and win the national championship. That's right. I'm on the record saying that. So we're out there. We're out. Hey, uh, great to have you along, uh, as usual, as we march on here today. One of the best things that happens on this program is when we get uh, shareholders or interested parties that email us uh, about either an author or a business or, or um, uh, even a celebrity. Um, we got an email regarding a company called uh, Sanendo. I think I'm saying that correctly. And Bjorn Bergheim is the CEO. They said, you know, we should interview this guy. And, and they are saving teeth and improving lives. Mike, you might want to listen to this one. Okay. I'm just saying. <laughs> and in studio today, uh, it's so great to have you in studio because we normally uh, talk to our guests via Skype or Zoom. But Bjorn, great to see you. How are you? Great to be here. I'm doing great. Um, all right. Talk to us about what this is because you guys are a commercial stage med technology company. But you're in the... Uh, you're in the teeth game versus the uh, versus. It's just I'll let you take it over from there. Yeah, that's that's right. So so we want to ch uh, really change dentistry in a big way. We want to move dentistry to the 21st century. Mm -hmm. First, we're uh, commercializing a new technology for root canal therapy that reduces pain, improves outcomes. But ultimately, we want to go after tooth decay. Tooth decay is the number one most prevalent chronic disease in the world. And tooth decay is really two things, is cavities and, and root canals. Initially, we're focused on the root canal uh, opportunity and growing quickly in that space. But uh, over time, we also want to really go after a tooth decay in a more broader way. So what's the big idea? Talk about the technology. The, the big idea is that, you know, in, in tooth decay, instead of scraping out the cavity or root canal, you know, using drills, burrs, and files. Sounds great. <laughs> It hurts just to think about yeah. it. Exactly. Now we're cleaning and disinfecting into the small pores and teeth. So we're leaving the tooth structure intact, mm -hmm. reducing pain, and we're just creating a much better experience for the patient and the you know, better outcomes. Is it is this are you are you currently performing this in dentist offices or is this is this something that you have to uh, get some adoption on. Yeah, no, 100%. We're, we're you know, we have you know, 950 plus uh, consoles across the United States and Canada. Location. We've done more than 1 million root canal procedures uh, in the United States and Canada, and we're, we're growing quickly. But still a big opportunity ahead. We only have 2% uh, roughly of root canal procedures uh, in the United States. So, uh, but so a lot of room to grow uh, on the root canal side, but also uh, a lot of room to grow to really, t you know, go after other opportunities. And, and, and we're talking about a thing called Gentle Wave Systems. How does it work? That's right. So Gentle Wave is a console and a procedure instrument. And so the dentist will buy the console and then you'll use a sterilized procedure instrument for every procedure that you do. Mm -hmm. So you put this uh, handpiece on, on the tooth. Mm -hmm. And that handpiece creates broad spectrum sound and pressure waves that allows you to clean and disinfect into those small spaces. Mm -hmm. 
makes for a you know, uh, you know more efficacious procedure that's more easier to perform and drives efficiency for the doctor. Is getting over the pain hump the biggest hurdle? Because people hear dentists and yep. they immediately go to, uh, the, uh, you know, I'm going to be sitting here for a week and my mouth is going to be on fire. Is that your biggest hurdle? That's uh, what obviously attracts patients the most. Yeah. You know, patients hate going to the dentist, they hate the pain side of it. So we're making a root canal procedure much more comfortable. But just as importantly, we're also improving the outcomes, right? We're cleaning, re removing all this rotted tissue and bacteria inside these teeth. It just makes for a much better uh, patient experience, but also better outcomes. So uh, the, the talk about the addressable market. S 17 million root canals done, I think. You said, yep. did, I, did I read that that's correctly? Right. Uh, in just the US and Canada every year? That's correct. 17 million. That's right. So that's- Andy. Andy. Exactly. Yeah, really. So uh, that's right. So that's roughly about a $1.9 billion opportunity for us every oh, single wow. year, wow. just in the U.S. and Canada. Uh, but of course, if you look at this from a cavity perspective, which we're thinking about later on, right, uh, there's 175 million cavities in the United States every single year. As long as people can continue to eat M&Ms like myself, right. uh, you know, we'll, <laughs> they will uh, continue to need uh, get so, cavities. So here's what I want to know. I want to know why this isn't pervasive. In other words, I, I, why haven't we heard of this more? Because all of us hear about is root canal. Hey, I got your root canal. And that's it. Why aren't we hearing that there's other, or other, other uh, you know, potential ways to get this done rather than, you know, like Mike said, have your mouth on fire, I, said, I believe is what he said. Yeah, this, but that's a great, it's a great question, right? This is what patients want. Yeah. Uh, you know, when we ask patients, the majority of patients will not only want this, they will demand to have this procedure where they know the benefits. Uh, but you know we're, we're growing quickly. We're growing as you know as quickly as we can. Are you in all 50 states? Uh, we are. Sure. Yeah. So uh, initially we've gone after the specialists, oh. the endodontists that are doing root canals. So again, that's that's the only thing they do effectively. But uh, you know now we're also going to start going after the GPs, uh, which which do roughly about 75 percent of all uh, root canals. Bjorn Bergheim's his name. He's the president and CEO of Sonendo, and they are publicly traded under stock symbol S O N X. So you can go to Sonendo.com. So here's my so here's my question for you. With respect to with respect to your company, how did this whole thing get started? Are, are you were you the founder of this company? Or? So we have a family office. We've started a number of different companies mm -hmm. in the life science space, mm -hmm. and some of the more exciting, I think, uh, mm -hmm. you know, disruptive companies in the, in, the, in in life science. Mm -hmm. um, so we like going after and looking for ways where we can disrupt markets mm -hmm. and also really improve uh, healthcare and improve, improve outcomes for patients. So that's that's really. Uh, you know, our, our mantra going into this. I was the first employee, so I've been at this since, uh, you know, we opened the doors. Are you, so, and, what's, and what's next for you guys as, as, as a company? Are we going, I mean, is it, is it, are you staying in just the root canal space or is there other dental hygiene that, that can cross over? Is there, is there new technologies coming? Yeah, so there's a ton of opportunities that remains for us in the root canal space. So now we have a next generation procedure instrument that makes this easier uh, for, for doctors and patients. Mm -hmm improves our margin profile as a company. We're also, we have a next generation console mm -hmm. that really makes this simpler and easier for doctors and staff. We're also now, as we talked about, going after the GP space on, on the root canal opportunity. That's the root canal side, but what's next after that, and we're, what we're starting to think about is, of course, the cavity opportunity is it a Is it an easy technology for dentists and technicians and whatnot to learn how to use? 100%, and that's one of the things that's been important for us. And if you look at the value proposition for a doctor, I always talk about the four E's, efficacy, efficiency, economy, and ease of use. And ease of use is exactly like you're talking about, really making this simple and easy for doctors, but also driving the efficiency better for the patient, um, you know, f you know sorry, efficacy better for the patient, efficiency driving the speed of the procedure, mm -hmm. and also the economy being able to drive better financial results for the doctors. The, uh, the name of the company, once again, is Sinendo. And uh, I guess the last thing I want to find out is, um, if you, you you talk about the addressable market in the U.S. and Canada, do you guys have to go through a different form of their FDA for Canada, or are you are you licensed up there or ready to go? So we're ready to go, and we're selling Canada already. But of course, as we go to the rest of the world, right, to the uh, Europe and beyond, then then we need the CE mark and other regulatory approvals. And does that mean international is on the way? I mean, is, is that the idea? That we will definitely do that. But right now, the opportunity here in the U.S. is so large that that's what the focus is currently. Well, I want to have you back, and I think Mike uh, Mike wants to get your card. Yeah, to, uh, to get it going. The name of the his name, Bjorn Burkett. Thanks so much for coming in. I appreciate it. Thank you. President and CEO, here. Sonendo. By the way, they're publicly traded. S O N X. S O N X. Saving teeth, improving lives. Constant. I love it. I think you need to uh, yeah. give his card to my butcher that I go to. <laughs> exactly.
All right, more of your best coming up. Stand by. Sully.